Hey guys, welcome to a Tuesday bonus video. We have our weekly video every Friday, but sometimes we have a bonus video on Tuesday and today we're checking out the Orico 5 Bay USB 3.0 enclosure. And in combination with a cheap thin client or mini PC as well as Windows storage spaces or free NAS, I'll show you how to use this as a 5 bay NAS with RAID on a budget of under $200. The drive enclosure is the Orico DS500U3 and this is a review unit that I requested from Banggood. I'm currently using two 4TB USB 3.0 hard drives in mirrored RAID configuration and that has been working great but I need something that can take more drives and at $134.99 US dollars this product could be great value. So let's find out what it can do and if we have a fully working RAID NAS in the end. In the box we find a user manual with some nice little tips for setting up your drives. There's a USB 3.0 cable, we have a power brick, it comes with a figure 8 cable, mine came with one for Europe but I'm just gonna use the local Australian version and of course we have the drive bay with the magnetic cover. So after you unpacked everything we need to install the drives. So we just lift the magnetic cover, put it to the side and then one by one we just take the drives and we put them inside the bay just like that. So these are three and a half inch hard drives but you can also use two and a half inch drives. I tested SSDs and laptop hard drives and that worked without any issues but for larger storage you want to go with three and a half inch SATA drives. So that's all done and now we take the cover and put it back on top. At the back we've got a power button, here is the USB 3.0 connector and this is where you plug in the power supply. At the front we have six blue LEDs, the first one is for power and then we got five more, one, two, three, four. These match up to the drive base. They tell you if a drive is installed and powered up and also if it has activity then the lights will flash. At the bottom we have a fan for cooling. This appears to be a 120 millimeter fan and it does a really good job at keeping the temperatures nice and low. Now in terms of noise, and this is always a bit subjective, but yes you can definitely hear this unit. Uh, if it's in idle the fan will spin down a little bit, but once the hard drive spin up the fan spins a little bit faster. In a quiet bedroom I can definitely see this being a little bit annoying so you might not want to have it in a bedroom uh, but in a home theater room with the TV running this should be perfectly fine. Now we need a computer to drive the enclosure. You can use a mini PC or one of these second-hand thin clients and I've been reviewing quite a few on the channel and yeah this is another really good uh, scenario for using a thin client. In terms of processing power this is quite an entry level. This is the HP T610 with a dual core processor. The only thing you really need to look out for is that it comes with USB 3.0. In terms of RAM and storage you might have to upgrade but DDR3 RAM prices on the used market are they're pretty cheap as well as uh, storage. You can even use a USB flash drive to install Windows 10 or FreeNAS. So with the hardware out of the way, let's talk about software. Windows Storage Spaces, which is part of Windows 10, is super easy to use. You can pull all drives together into a large one. This maximizes capacity, but if a drive fails, you will lose information. To protect against drive failures, you can create mirrored or parity configurations. I tested this with five drives, and you can create a two-way and a three-way mirror or a parity configuration. With two-way and parity your data is still accessible when a single drive fails and with a two-way mirror even two drives can fail and all your data is still fine. The amount of total storage you get varies depending on the configuration but storage spaces shows you those numbers. In terms of performance, when reading from the NAS it would max out my gigabit ethernet connection at around 110 megabytes per second. Writing speeds varied, a large pool uh, of drives will get you also the full speed but with a three-way mirror on five drives it slowed down to around 70 megabytes per second and five drives with parity would write at only between 20 and 30 megabytes per second. 
Free NAS is definitely more complicated to set up initially, but it has a lot more options if you choose to invest time to study the documentation. Here I found that having five drives in parity, which is called slightly different, had better write performance at 70 megabytes per second. So that was nice to see. You can also create multiple RAID arrays. For example, you can use three drives in parity and use another two drives for a two-way mirror. All in all, this project worked out pretty much how I hoped. Windows Storage Spaces is extremely easy to use. And of course, I tested to see what happens if you pull out a drive. It will show you an error, but all the data is still accessible. So in this case, you quickly replace the drive in the enclosure and then in Storage Spaces, add this new drive to the pool and remove the old one. So there you have it, for under $200 you can get this 5-bay enclosure as well as a thin client to set up your own NAS with RAID. With the software you can either use storage spaces with Windows or free NAS. I've been using this enclosure for a few days, trying all sorts of different storage options and it hasn't given me any issues, so I think the value is pretty good. Compared to buying a ready-to-go NAS, this is a lot cheaper, but what do you think about this project? Please let me know down below in the comments. I will see you soon with our weekly Friday video, but keep an eye out for Tuesday. Sometimes there will be a bonus video like this one. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a like and click on that notification bell. And I shall see you soon with another one.